It's been a while since we were last in Ipoh. We decided to do a short day trip to see how many food spots and places we could fit in in just about 6 hours. We are at Jalan Bandar Tima in Old Ipoh Town. This is one of our favourite breakfast spots. Ipoh Kong Heng Restaurant is one of the famous restaurants in Ipoh. However, we are not going here this morning. This is where we will be having our first meal in Ipoh this morning. Restaurant Tian Chun is always packed and you have to wait to find a table. The good news is that you do not have to wait very long. The pork satay is one of our favourites. You may find it difficult to find good intestine satay the way they prepare it here. meat in the beef noodles is very tender and they are not stingy in the portions. It's actually quite tasty. This is what most visitors come here for. They are very famous for their Kai Si Ho Fan, a flat rice noodle or kway teow served in a delicious broth with sliced chicken strips and prawns. We did not find the Sotong Kangkong to our liking. Tian Chun is also famous for their egg caramel custard. And yes, it's quite good. Kongheng Coffee Shop was once an actor's hostel in the 1920s. Now it is famous for its food. One day we will come here to try the food. This is a newly built Old Town Heritage Center. There is a cafe inside on two lower floors and a heritage museum on the top floor. We found this great souvenir shop along Concubine Lane selling board games, 
cards, hats and other trinkets. It brings back memories seeing all those board games. We have this wall that gives more information on Concubine Lane and the buildings here. What caught our eyes was this wooden chess box. I used to imagine sitting at the chess board in the evening after dinner. Unfortunately, I couldn't find someone to play with. Too bad I don't know the game. Here, we can find the Chinese characters or common surnames on a keychain. Characters that you may not find elsewhere may be found here. Usually, this lane is packed full of vendors and customers. It may still be quite early as there are not many people around. You can find all sorts of goodies here. around Concubine Lane, but time is limited and we have more places to go. We were on our way to another one of our favourite spots located in Pase Pinji when we passed this temple. This is the Mazu Pavilion and devotees are celebrating the birthday of the goddess Mazu. We have arrived at our destination. This is the famous Big Tree Food Yong Tau Fu food court. This signboard tells me that there have been people claiming to be a branch of Bigfoot Tree. As the sign says, this is the one and only branch. The interesting thing about this place is that you can find a very wide range of Yong Tau Fu and their famous deep fried yam bean fritters. You can also get good asam laksa here. Since we are still full, we decided to take away the Yong Tau Fu. Time to move on to our next food spot. We have seen very good ratings about this place and even heard of a trap food waiting for it. So, we just had to come here to try their food. This is Faiki Porridge and Noodle House. Our stomachs are still quite full, so we are only going to order for sharing.
Let's take a glance at their menu. They have quite a number of dishes to offer customers. Ordered deep fried intestine porridge, pork offal soup, and signature mixed pork porridge. Order the coffee here is very popular. It's a very hot day and we decided to go for refreshing high sour plum line drinks. Our time is very short. It's time to move on to our next menu. Join us for parts 2 to 4 coming soon. Thanks for watching.